October the 4th, 2021. Guys, you're looking at images over the Atlantic Ocean. You can see Mexico and uh, South America and the U.S. And this is an ESA or European Space Agency satellite. And it detects different uh, atmospheric particles. And what you're looking at now is sulfur dioxide. And it's mixed with some of the Saharan dust layer that we see that travels from Africa over to the U.S., especially during hurricane season. Well, this is extremely high levels of SO2. It causes acid rain as it comes back to Earth. But just breathing it or being uh, exposed to it can irritate your eyes and your lungs. It can cause major lung problems if it uh, occurs over a long enough period of time or in strong enough levels. Now they've determined that it is a major problem with heart disease. And if you think about SO2, it comes from volcanoes, it comes from uh, wildfires, and it comes from the burning of fossil fuels. And you can see in the areas to the left over the U.S. and in Mexico where you've got a combination of um, plants, manufacturers that use uh, coal or burn fuel to run generators, and uh, the uh, areas that are really thick in the U.S., a lot of those are big cities because of the cars are emitting the SO2. Now, it's, and you think about going back over the last 40 or 50 years, the rise of heart attacks and asthma, lung disease, chronic lung disease, all of this can be caused by sulfur dioxide. But that's what you're looking at again. This was yesterday. And they're saying that a cloud of dust from the Sahara Desert together with sulfur dioxide or SO2 originating in the La Palma volcano is affecting Puerto Rico this Sunday and it has caused a deterioration in the air quality of the Caribbean territory. The Caribbean Astronomy Society disclosed through social networks that the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission of the European Space Agency, ESA, detected sulfur dioxide over Puerto Rico and the Caribbean from the volcano in La Palma. The Caribbean entity indicates that images obtained by ESA satellites which control emissions into the atmosphere, this has been translate, translated, guys, so bear with me, it says they have detected an extensive cloud of sulfur dioxide that comes from the volcano in the Canary Islands, which has been active since mid-September. He emphasizes that the cloud has already entered the Caribbean and a dense part is the um, the Sunday was over Puerto Rico, so the use of a mask is required. Think about this. The Caribbean Astronomy Society indicates that forecasts suggest that the cloud could reach the Dominican public uh, during the night of Sunday. Again, this was yesterday's report. So it's now spread further to the west. The Department of Natural and Environmental Resources of Puerto Rico recommends that the elderly children and people with respiratory problems reduce activities that require prolonged or intense effort in the open air due to the presence of the SO2 and the dust from the Sahara. Air quality on the island is currently at a moderate level according to the air quality index. Now they're saying in San Juan that the air quality will be affected until Tuesday anticipating an improvement for Wednesday. Today is Monday so a couple more days of it. Now in this concentrated um, section of it it's moved further west and what will happen is, as long as the jet streams and the currents are coming from Africa, we will see it on the days that uh, you see heavy volcanic emissions and heavy, a lot of gas being released, then it's going to take, you know, several days for that to move across the Atlantic. But those will be the concentrated levels um, in those waves in a delayed time just because of the uh, difference. But we can keep an eye on that. And uh, if you think about the folks that are there on uh, La Palma and uh, that work there, and you've got, uh, we watch Bushcraft Bear there do his live reports a couple of times a day. They, uh, even though you can't see all of the gas and the problems that you have, if you're on that island or very close to it, be particularly careful. Again, this is now becoming a problem for, um, your heart think about that now and if, if you think about because i said that it uh, can come from wildfires uh, volcanoes manufacturing 
and uh, production of oil and the burning of fossil fuels from new um southern louisiana to over to houston you've got a lot of problems with this in the big cities because of the cars you have a lot of problems with this particular so2 and um again it goes back to the rise in heart attacks and lung disease a lot of this you have it in cigarette smoke too by the way but uh so that's a good reason to quit but let's take a look at the current images that are coming from uh, the Noah Wind uh, School. Now, these are current images, again, on our website, bpearthwatch.com. Scroll down on the left, and you'll see Noah Wind. Click on that link. Then you can go in and kind of choose what you're looking for, whether it's wind, waves, different particulates, chemicals, um, the entire gamut of, of what you may be interested in. But if you'll notice right here, we pull this up a little bit, that uh, the other islands are very clear because the wind's coming out of the north. Now, you're getting some of this out of Europe because in, of industry and uh, traffic, things like that. But it's really concentrated on La Palma. And if you look at this plume, that's this is current again. One plume of this has already moved across the ocean. But if you look at it, it's fanned out, mixing with something coming off of the uh, African coast here. Maybe a city there, maybe some manufacturing. But uh, it can also come from plant decay. It can come from the ocean, too. But the concentrated levels are what's going to be the problem. So you guys in La Palma, you need to pay very close attention to this and take all the uh, precautions, not just for the ash, but for this. It will cause acid rain. It does settle on metal. It's very acidic. Um, but uh, the damage to your heart, eyes, and lungs can be irreparable. You just don't want to do that. But look at how wide this plume is. And it is moving to the uh, west towards the U.S. But I just wanted to point this out, guys. There's some. We're going to do an update later this evening, get some images coming out of La Palma. Very interesting uh, from the video last night where we saw that flank collapse and that wall of lava moved down the uh, several sides of the volcano. There are some drone images that came up later, and I'm going to try to put a few pieces of that into a video. And uh, it's amazing to see this thing and how close it's coming now to some of the houses that I pointed out in the video last night that were at the very base of the mountain. And it's creeping down through there, and there's a wider area now going into the ocean off the side of the island. But I'll get that in an afternoon update. I got to run some errors, uh, errands, but I want to. Um, I wanted to put this up just so you realize that um, what we're dealing with, and uh, take the precautions necessary. And just a quick look. Now you can see where your concentrated levels are over. Cuba, you got the Dominican Republic, the tip of Florida down there, and a lot of that's coming from the, that's in Florida, is coming from offshore. But you also have Miami, that's very populated along that uh, uh, east coast of Florida, very populated. So you're going to have manufacturing or just traffic will do it. If you go to Phoenix, that yellow haze you see out across the town, if you go up into the mountains and look back down at Phoenix, you're looking at uh, the sulfur dioxide. But again, it's moving more to the uh, east, or excuse me, to the west, towards the U.S. And you're going to have, when you see those days that uh, we've seen this year, that yellow haze from either the Saharan dust or the wood smoke coming from the wildfires, then uh, just remember that you have something else mixed into it uh, when these volcanoes are sending this across the Atlantic Ocean. We don't see that this often. A lot of the volcanoes um, will be a little further north as far as the ones like in Iceland and all that send the ash over Europe. But here, with during hurricane season, it's going to push all of this towards the U.S. But uh, I'll get an update this afternoon, guys, on that uh, drone footage I saw. It's a heads up. Be safe.